Today we'll be taking a look at Paris-based artist Jessie Rollet. She is a designer and social media influencer who uses bright swaths of color to promote positivity in the world. The colors she uses particularly are tertiary colors. Tertiary colors are colors that you mix when you mix one primary color with a secondary color, such as blue-violet, blue-green, yellow-green, red, orange, and so on. Here are some examples. These colors here, I mostly use yellow, green, blue, and some pink in the middle. You can also use temper sticks instead of paint. Today, in today's video, we'll be going over how to use paint. If you want to use temper sticks, you can make a heart and add some markers on top to do those pretty designs. So for this lesson, you're going to need a thick, fat brush gonna wet it and mix first a green once again you don't have to do it in this order green is just one of my favorite colors I'm starting with green and you start off by keeping your brush on its tip I'm not gonna be painting like this we're gonna be painting on the tip and making vertical lines and you just do it anywhere you go. The key to doing a Jessie Rollet painting is to feel the color. Just go with the flow and let the painting do the talking. All right, so I got my green in. Now I'm gonna go in and add some more blue and make a tertiary color. This will be turquoise. That's a little bit dark for Jessie Rollet color. So I'm gonna go in with some white and make it lighter. It's my favorite color. I love turquoise. <laughs> then I mix it here together and kind of go with the flow. The key with this, you want to try and mix it as it's wet. Now I'm going to get some water now and mix the green and the blue together. So I start off with cool colors and gradually it's going to turn to warm colors as I go down here. Keep your brush strokes nice and loose. Notice how I'm not painting like this. You want to keep it on the tip at all times. Nice and smooth. All right, I'm going to wash my brush now. Swish, swish, flick. And I'm going to add some of that pink to the blue and make a nice violet. It's a little bit darker for just your real ass. I'm going to go in with some white and mix it together. That's a really pretty color. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom. Just paint right on top of the green and let it just feel the music. Feel the color as you go. The key is you want all your colors to blend together. I might get some yellow now. Put yellow right here. And as it goes up, it's going to turn into yellow green. make sure that you smooth out everything this here if you leave it the way it is it's going to dry like plastic it's not going to be pretty we'll make sure everything is smooth smooth this one out get 
with some red now maybe. And just for a little bit here. I kind of like the red the way it is, so I'm going to leave it there. Get some white here, mix this together. I'm going to make some yellow orange. We got red, a little bit of yellow. Make a basic orange, get some more yellow, alright that's yellow orange, get some white to make it less dark, there you go, that's pretty. Once you have the basic colors down, it's time to go in and add some dots. If you look at her paintings, most of her paintings are characterized by white dots or dark blue dots. So I'm going to take some of this and make little strokes of dots. It might be easier to use a smaller brush. I like to think of it as Nora Lights. Her paintings kind of remind me of that. Once it's dry, you can go back with some postcard markers and add some more detailed dots.
think that's pretty much done. The only thing that's left, so it's gonna dry. Then we're gonna go back with some markers and add some more detailed dots. She also does flowers. So you can do really bright, colorful flowers and add some dots on it. You can do hearts. Or you can do an abstract painting like I did for today. Choice is yours.